I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to multiply improper fractions. We'll give special consideration to area model for multiplication of improper fractions. Here is an example. 7 divided by 5 times 4 over 3. These two fractions are improper fractions since the numerator is higher than the denominator right so we have to take seven parts out of five right so that is what it is so it is improper fraction since the numerator is greater than the denominator now first part is how to represent seven over five now whenever we look at the denominator it tells us the number of parts of the whole right so we'll consider a rectangle first let's say this is our rectangle I'll keep the bottom open at sometimes we may have to adjust we'll divide this rectangle into five equal parts so let's say this is one two three four and five more or less these are five equal parts now we have to select seven out of these but there are only five right so to get seven we have to draw one more rectangle so let's draw one more rectangle so that we can really select seven right so this is one two three four and five now we can select seven out of five okay so seven there are how many rows there are five let's select so it is one row let's say we select one two three four five six and one seven right so that becomes seven out of five right so we could write this as now we have selected seven so it is 7 out of 5, correct? So that is what it means. So what we have here is that this part from here to here represents 7 out of 5. It is indeed improper fraction. 7 out of 5 also means one whole, right? And when you divide this, you get 2 out of 5, correct? So one whole and 2 out of 5. I hope it makes sense. So 7 out of 5. Now when we multiply by 4 over 3, it means what? 3 tells us how many parts should we divide the area into, right? 3 equal parts. So that means 3 equal parts. Now here we have these two rectangles. Let's divide them into 3 equal parts. So let's say this is 1, 2, and that is the third one. So three equal parts. Now out of these three equal parts, we need to select four. How can we do it? We really cannot do it from this figure. So what we do is we copy it. So let's make a copy of this so that we can select the fourth one also, right? So, so we are just making a copy of the same. Here is the copy. So I'll quickly just draw five parts, five rows, right? So one, two, three, four, and five. Similarly, one, two, three, four, and five. And also divide them into three equal parts. Now, since I've made a copy of this, I need to shade this yellow portion also, right? So that is 7 over 5 of this also, correct? So, so that is how it is. So one whole and two out of these, correct? Now, let us select four, right? Out of three. So four out of three means you will select one. So this is all you select, correct? So I'm just shading up to here. Well, let's shade four out of three, right? So four out of three. So that is the fourth one, right? So one, two, three, four. 
So we have selected 4 out of 3, correct? 4 out of 3, as you know, could also be written as 1 whole, 1 out of 3. It makes sense. 1 whole, right? And 1 out of these 3. Does it make sense to you? So that is how it is. And I hope once you sketch like this, it makes sense to you, right? So this is 4 out of 3 selected. Now the area is the portion which is which is common right for I'm sorry this should be up to here right four out of three now whenever you write the product then denominator tells you that in one whole how many parts are there so to begin with here we have five rows and three columns right so there we have 15 parts in all correct so each division here is how much? Each is 1 out of 15, correct? Each division is 1 out of 15. How many such divisions do we have, right? We could count by 7s. So each row has 7 out of 15, right? So 7 out of 15. 2 times 7 out of 15. 3 times 7 out of 15 and 4 times 7 out of 15. So we could write this as 4 times 7 out of 15 and that is 28 over 15, right? So that is one way we could get this product. The other way is you can count how many have been shaded by 7 out of 5 times 4 over 3. So we have 15 here in this 1 2 3 4 5 6 the whole thing has 15 we know this is 15 correct and here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 in this case we have 1 2 3 4 5 and here we have 2 shaded you can actually count them also so we could add 15 6 5 and 2 right 15 and 6 gives 21, 21 plus 5 is 26, plus 2 is indeed 28. So we again get total parts shaded is 28 out of 15, right? Go back to the original. So we get the same answer, 28 out of 15. So in short, we can write 7 out of 5 times 4 over 3 is indeed equals to 28 over 15 right so that is how it is now you know when you multiply improper fractions the idea is to multiply the numerators 7 times 4 is 28 and the denominators 5 times 3 as 15 and you get your answer as an improper fraction at times you can actually write this as a mixed number also right so let's convert this and write it as a mixed number to convert, what do we do? We actually divide 28 by 15. 15 goes one time, 2 times is 30. So take away and what we get here is 13. And therefore, this could also be written as one whole, 13 over 15. So that is how you could also convert it into mixed numbers. Anyway. Now, let us summarize. How did we use the area model to find product of improper fractions? Now, when you look at the question, it says 7 out of 5. That means that we need two blocks. One will not work because we have to select 7 out of 5. So, we need one more. And on the other side, we have 4 over 3. That also means that we have two sets. So that is why we have two sets, right? 7 out of 5 is number of rows. 4 out of 3 is number of columns. When you multiply rows and columns, you get area. And that's what we did. And so we got our result as 7 over 5 times 4 over 3 is 28 over 15. I hope the process is clear to you. We'll have a few more practice questions for you to do. Thank you and all the best.